the hell you are, anyways. Alright, welcome back to some more Jack 2. I just got up and stretched a bit and uh, showed the cat that the people that are trying to clean the pipes and break, not break stuff, they're still out there. They've only been here for a few hours. I don't know, like, I've mentioned in the past, like, if you actually follow my videos in chronological order, um, so we used to have these really shitty neighbors, and, uh, well, that's an understatement. Um, yeah, keep away from me. They basically, like, destroyed the unit that they were living in, and, uh, they caused a water like pipe to explode or something like that and spill into the complex so yeah it's it's about time it got fixed so it's nice I mean they were like drug dealers and shit so the water is probably like contaminated with like ultra meth or something but like you know it's nice that it's finally being fixed our new neighbors are actually really cool people um, maybe that's because one of them is a fellow metalhead like me Maybe someday I'll take his skull gem and put it inside of mine and we'll have a baby. I don't know. But, um, you know, they're pretty cool people. Um, I'm pretty, I hate to say judgmental, but you have to understand as well. I have, like, CPTSD, OCPD, uh, like, stress disorders up the ass. So, like, I'm extremely judgmental to people that I don't like that do really specific shit, like, twitchy, weird, anxious people that are probably on drugs I can usually call in like seconds. You know, it, like, it sounds shitty, but like, you can kind of call people out a lot quicker when you, uh, when you've been through a lot of shit, you learn to tell social cues quicker. <clears throat> so, yeah, they're not shit bags. They're actually pretty cool people. And, uh, I talk to that guy like every other day. He's super friendly. And he even apologized that our last neighbors were meth addicts. He's like, they were like drug dealers, weren't they? I was like, yeah, he's like, I'm sorry, man. And I'm like, you're the best. I love you. And he has a Divine Intervention Slayer shirt, which is, I think, their last good album. You boys are turning out to be quite useful, eh? Mm, I have another task for you. The sewers used to be a fabulous smuggling route for me before the Baron installed security to and before those late night snack runs kept you from fitting out the front door. I bet you've hatched another brilliant plan in that hungry little brain of yours. So, who or what do we have to shake down, knock out, or blow up? Well, I need someone to go down and shoot every sentry gun in the sewers. And I'll give you a sweet weapon upgrade if you succeed. Let me guess. Dank murky water? Reeks worse than your breath at an oyster fest? Fuller of metalheads than your plate at a one pass buffet? And of course, weapons more lethal than your ever so tidy whiteys on a hot summer day. Look, Donut Hole, why don't we float around here looking hot and heavy and you go roto root the pipes? We're not doing anything until you tell us why metalheads are trading with the Baron's forces. Oh, I should have had some built kneecaps, eh? All I know is that the Baron caught a desperate dealer with a metalhead leader. Metalheads need ego, so the Baron supplies them with regular shipments. In return, the metalheads agree to attack the city just enough to satisfy the Baron's continued ruler. <laughs> yeah, but how long can that deal last? Well, the Baron is running short on eco, eh? And the metalheads are short on patience. Baron Praxis needs this war to keep in power. Otherwise, the city would put the true ruler on the throne, wherever that little brat is. Daxter and I will clear your sewers. And we haven't forgotten about that weapons upgrade you promised in return, bloodsuckers. You know, the, the sad truth is it's actually a really good shitty political power play. <clears throat> I'm not trying to say that's, like, top-tier writing, but it's actually... Not a bad, like, plot beat, if I'm being honest. So yeah, you can see why uh, doing cruise missions is also generally more helpful uh, in the beginning of the game, because you actually get weapon upgrades, which after this, we get the blaster. This is the scatter gun. Blaster's the yellow uh, weapon. I tend to use that quite a bit, 
I actually rarely use the Peacemaker, which you get way later in the game. Um, <clears throat> Vulcan Barrel is pretty good. You get that from Torn way later. Um, I mean, it's actually probably better than the Blaster, if not for the delayed fire at the, st at the start of it. It can kill a person in two shots uh, in like a half a second. It's bullshit like good. The Blaster is also the most overpowered weapon in um, Jack 3 because it gets an upgrade called, I think, like the Reflex Shot, which bounces off shit numerous times and kills enemies in like a second because I, I don't even remember if it has a downside. It's just absolutely bullshit broken. I think that the, uh, the weapon upgrades ruin Jack 3 personally. Like, I can only probably name maybe two or three times in the entire game I ever used a nuke for the Peacemaker. Hell, I don't even remember what the Peacemaker's second upgrade is. It's it's something, right? That's all I can tell you. So, this part is pretty bullshit. Since we don't actually have the fire rate upgrade yet... Oh god, I do not want to take any fucking damage at all. It's actually really good we came in here with Dark Jack because I can use it on one of the sections later on. So, this is tough. Fuck! That was like one second too off. Oh. I like this little part right here. It's pretty cool. That actually scared the hell out of me as a kid. <laughs> but then again, as we've established on this channel... Oh my god! What the hell is my problem, man? There's a lot of shit that scared me as a kid. Like the fucking honeycomb monster, right? So, it's not this part you want to use a dark bomb on, but it's the part coming up after this. Because it's actually way safer uh, to do that rather than just get absolutely ganked. So the upgrades for Dark Jack are Dark Bomb, Dark Blast, uh, and then I believe it's Invincibility, and then it's Giant Jack. So, they're, you're not going to get those last two, like until... Oh my god. You see that? The delay. That's what fucks me up. I can't ever do this correctly if I get hit. Oh, I don't think there's any more health either. Oh, Jesus. So that's gonna break when we step on it. A little bit fucky, right? Oh, I shouldn't have broke that! God damn it, because the eco's gonna decay. Alright, I gotta work quickly. That is still pretty fucking cool. Let's not beat around the bush. Even in the 2000s, which were dark and edgy and brooding, that is still pretty fucking cool. Uh, something about slow-mo explosions and shit flying off of everything is just always cathartic. You know, there was a John Woo game. Uh, I think it was called Hard Boiled. Am I correct in saying that? It was. I just remember it was a Midway game uh, because they had a demo. Uh, well, no, it wasn't a demo. It was a trailer for it in one of the... I think it was Armageddon. Um, yeah, MK Armageddon. Hang on. I, t I, I swear to God that as soon as you mess up one timing, it's fucked. I like this here. That scared me a lot when I was a kid. Also, that turret will shoot the metalheads if you let it. Oh my god. I can't fuck up at all. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> No! Oh! I did it! Oh! Oh, I did that so sloppy. Oh my god. I did that so sloppy, dude. That was some sloppy bukkake right there. I'm amazed I didn't get killed. There's still two more metalheads as well, so I can still die here. I prefer not to. Oh my god, why is it? I can't even complain. I'm sorry there's so much background noise. It's because there's that repair crew outside. I can't really choose what day I record sometimes because it's usually on my weekend. Uh, 
There's so much air traffic today, and there's so much fucking noise. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I can't control it. I really can't. I can't go out there and say, guys, can you please leave me alone? I'm trying to record a YouTube video for the internet to see. Look at this animation. I fucking love that. I, I swear to God, if you're an animation, like, like crazy person like I used to be, um, or at least a 3D programmer, fuck, man, you can totally understand why this game is so visually impressive, and I'll actually show off another reason why, too. So. Oh, my God. Ugh. I only have one hit right now, so I'm really fucking scared. I'm trying not to get, like, overly cocky here. But yeah, we're gonna get the blaster upgrade next. And, um, like I was saying earlier, the blaster is probably the most useful weapon in the game. I mean, it's not the most useful, I should say, but it's... It's the most common. You're gonna be ending up using it quite a lot. So... Uh, I also haven't mentioned this yet. If you ever are, like, absolutely terrified you're going to get killed, there is a few places you can go to that... Mainly portals, actually, the... Not the pumping station, but the, uh... The strip mine later on is a good place to do it. Um... Oh! Really? 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 fine. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't mentioned this yet. Yeah, look! See? And you can also dunk them, too. Watch. <laughs> and it, it doesn't kill them, because I don't think this was ever programmed. I think this guy's just unkillable. Yeah, I just keep bouncing off of him. So... You can see what I mean. Guards didn't ever have that animation, though, so you can always just kill guards instantly by shooting them in water. So, uh... <sighs> yeah, there... It wasn't until Jack 3 we could actually heal yourself with Light Eco, which was the fucking bomb, by the way, but also made the game way easier. In a good way. I mean, Jack 3 is a game that's, like, hard but easy at the exact same time. Have a serious impact on the lady factor. <laughs> no. I think it was my lunch, actually. Nice work in the sewers, eh? I guess you're looking for that weapon upgrade. Hmm. Well, there's a blast of mods stashed in some crates at the port. You find it, and it's yours. I wish Crew was a character in Dark Souls, because he would fit in so well with that laugh every time. Alright. But man, when I was a kid and I saw, oh, there's a gun on the map, ugh. Because I didn't actually play GTA 3 until after I played this game, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't remember. I played GTA 3 with a friend once, and I was like, I don't think I should be playing this. I can remember him whipping out the katana and killing somebody in, in um... Vice City, and it scared me. So check this shit out. You don't get a choice, so... Anyways. So look at this animation. It's so fucking smooth! That is the coolest shit ever. I'm sorry. And even like your... Like, look at that! That's so fucking cool, dude. And your posture changes too, watch. Notice you're more squat, you're in more of a horse stance with this out. Isn't that just the most badass thing ever? 
So let's go ahead and do the blaster one. This one I might be able to get at least silver on. Maybe not with the ammo, but I'm not sure yet. So the auto-aim is actually pretty forgiving. I know it doesn't look like it. Ugh. I want to do this with the uh, 200 ammo, though. It's a lot easier. And no, it's not cheating either. That actually is an upgrade you get later on. So I'm staying back here, by the way. I literally just did this, like, a week ago. So I'm still actually thinking I can do it then. See, I'm already, like, halfway drained. It's a lot easier to stay back in this course. <clears throat> because it's designed to be that way, I guess. Oh, boy. This is where it starts to get iffy. You can't use uh, the other weapons in this mode. The only one you can do that in is the Peacemaker gun course, but that's actually an unlockable. You don't naturally have that in the game. So I think I think it's like 170... Oh no, it's not 170, it's like 120 or something orbs, I can't remember. It, it shows up later. God damn it. But yeah, these are actually really good for getting orbs, because... Surprisingly, you can get a fucking hell of a lot of orbs, and I did that as a kid. Like, I did all these challenges gold without the fucking, like, fire rate upgrade and the, uh, capacity upgrade. I was so fucking stupid back. God damn it! And yeah, that's a massive point deduction when you hit a civilian. And it's actually way easier than it looks to hit a civilian target. Ugh. And yeah, you've probably noticed it by now, but the, uh, the game doesn't really render this very well. Oh, fuck you, man. It doesn't really render this very well on the emulator. Um, the textures are very warped at a distance. I'm kind of used to it at this point, but obviously if you get close enough you can see that they, they render in. I'm pretty sure they were going to have uh, children NPCs at one point, but probably realized it was probably a better idea not to do that because, you know, you couldn't kill kids in San Andreas, right? Because that would be shitty. So, um, we don't want to do that here now, do we? Um, you know, I was amazed when I was a kid that Jack even swore because he says, actually he says ass and hell in front of um, uh, the kid at one point in time. So it's like, Jack says bad words in front of kids. I don't like that. <laughs> Literally my exact thought process as a teenager or whatever preteen. Yeah, I'm not getting that right now. But yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the uh, gun course. Now that we have two weapons, by the way, we can go ahead and... Get out of my way, Buzz Lightyear. Jesus Christ. Maybe it is this weapon. Yeah, see, look! What do you do with this weapon? It's only that one. God, that's weird. So check this out. Oh, I'm, I'm like fucking hyping that up and it doesn't work. It's really weird. But you see what I mean? I did this attack right here, the up punch. And in front of... Oh, did I break the animation there? Huh. I have never actually really tried that before. That's really cool. <laughs> it looks funny. I like it. So, watch. If I do this... Nothing. Why? Is it because I'm a rebel or something? I don't... I don't get it, man. It's one of those things that's never made any sense to me as a programming thing. I think it's just a bug. I'd be more than willing to bet it's just a bug. But, anyways, so now that we have the blaster, we can actually do some pretty cool shit. Um, let's see if I can shake this heat. Can I go in here? No, I didn't think so. You can do that later. Um, but if you're curious, you're probably like, wait a minute, is there racing in this game? Yes, there's actually quite a bit of racing in this game. Um, this is actually an area that unlocks later that has a race challenge in it. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.